Okay, today we're going to take a look at the conditional formatting tool in Excel 2007. Now I have a little table here we're going to use in our example. Let's assume I'm a fruit cart vendor and I have you know, some rudimentary Excel skills where I'm able to go into the application and make a chart. Make a, actually a table as such. Okay. Now if I go over to the conditional formatting tool which is found under the styles grouping under the home tab. Okay, it's right there on the home tab. I click on conditional formatting. Now first you got to highlight your range which you want to put the formatting on. So I'm going to highlight from B4 to G8 and that's called a range. Anytime you highlight more than one cell it's referred to as a range and ranges are read from the uppermost left to the lowermost right. Okay. Now I go into conditional formatting. I click on the tab. Okay, and I want to go over to highlight cell rules and I'm going to go to more rules. I, I always use the more rules um, choice because it actually gives you all those choices right here in this black down arrow. Alright, so what do I want to do? First of all, I know as this fruit vendor that in order to maintain profitability I need to move at least 10 units of each. Otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll take it off my cart and do away with it or, or add another fruit on that maybe I can make some more money on. So right away I want to find out which fruits are selling 10 or more. So if the cell value of this range B4 through G8 is greater than or equal to 10, show me. So I type in 10 and I want you to show me by formatting the cell and I want the fill color to turn yellow and let's say have the font turn bold and the color will turn to red so that the cells jump out at us all the ones that are 10 or more so I hit OK and I hit OK alright well I could obviously see that I hit over 10 pretty consistently with almost every fruit except the mango I mean the mango would, would be the fruit to go alright so as you could see only on Saturdays do I sell over 10 mangoes and that's actually the only day where um, I actually hit 10 or more fruits sold. So if I was to take a day off by looking at this I would use another tool where I would highlight this range of cells B4 through B9 and what I could do is I could use the auto sum feature click on auto sum and that's just going to add up the numbers for me very quickly now let me show you another trick. If I highlight this cell again and grab this little piece in the lower right, that little black square, when I put my mouse over it just right, it turns into that black plus sign. It's called the fill handle. Now if I hold down with my left mouse and drag it across, it adds up all those numbers for me and I could center them. And uh, maybe, well, oh, I'd leave them like they are. So I could see right away by reading this that if I was going to take any day off, if I wanted to go back to a five-day work week, it would obviously be Tuesday. Let's run another conditional format. Let me, let me highlight this again. And let's say I want to know, let's go back into conditional formatting. I go over to, uh, ties is a pain in the neck. Go to highlight cell rules, go down to more rules again. Let's say I wanted to find in the cell any f any fruit that was greater than or equal to 15. Let me try to really identify which fruits are moving here. I hit OK in the format again. Let's just do a different format. This time we'll say, how about this? We'll have the font italicized. Maybe this time have the color be blue. And we hit OK. And I hit OK again. So now in the conditional format it changed the ones that also were over 15. So again I could see Saturday is by far my best day. You know and over here I mean obviously oranges are my best seller. 
So again, this is just a way to use colors and formats to make a table talk to you, to make it, you know, using visualizations to uh, differentiate trends that you might find that might not just jump out at you without the color or the formatting. Okay? And that's it.